Hi, I'm here with Motorcycle, who've just done a fantastic in-store gig at Flashback in Shoreditch, uh, playing some acoustic uh, stuff rather than their normal sort of slightly <laughs> noisy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of stuff. Adrenaline. Yeah. Oh, it was absolutely amazing. So, uh, yeah, so I was reading about, did you two sort of meet up over Rainbow Rising? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Way back when. That, that, that's uh, actually a true story, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We, we both grew up more or less in the sticks. Like, miles from, from anywhere yeah. and every summer there's a festival to celebrate the salmon season oh, right. and, and uh, very important in Norway I presume yeah, yeah. and uh, that was kind of the the one entertainment available that weekend so right. I went there with my friends and he went there with his brother and some friends and he was the only guy sporting the weather British heavy metal gear ah, right. so it's like oh I can talk to him <laughs> yeah and uh, so in just a few hours of that night, we just bonded on. Yeah, on Rainbow Rising. Rainbow Rising is the best album ever, and some days we still think so. It's slightly bizarre because <laughs> last night I went to see Gold, mm -hmm. and their frontman Carvos is also in a band called Knife World. Mm -hmm. And when they played down here and in store, I he says I really need Rainbow Rising, so I gave him a copy of Rainbow Rising. Unfortunately, we don't have one in the shop, otherwise I'd, 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 but I'm sure you have copies. Anyway. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So, I, I, you know, you, you've morphed from a sort of you know, old grungy sort of stuff through to psychedelic pop and then back through jazzy symphonies into more sort of heavy stonery stuff. I mean, you just don't stand still. <laughs> no, we, we, we are really uh, not uh, comfortable knowing what we're supposed to do. Right. It just That's dies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you put us in a theatre or something like that, we'd be like dead in three days. I mean, doing the same <laughs> thing over, over. We even change the set around every yeah. night. So we try so to have like a pool of 50 songs or so that we can choose from and then right. we decide before going on stage what to play. So uh, would you say you're restless souls then? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> and and we just, we just feel found out over the years that we really crap when we copy ourselves. Right. Yeah. So we try yeah. to avoid that, you know, try to just keep it uh, fresh and surprising for ourselves. Yeah. So where, where's, where's it going next? Uh, we don't know. We have uh, we need to record three albums this year. Oh, just the three? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's only um, been three years to record one. Yeah, yeah. no, we're doing one with, uh, as a, I'm producing and we're the backup band from, for another artist called right. Ulvos. And then we have a commission work for a festival in Norway that is, seems like it's going to be like a 45 minute song, yeah. something like that. And then uh, also oh. another sec <laughs> session uh, with um, just new material in uh, September or something like that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like we're in a hurry or anything, it's just on a roll. Yeah, so just well, keep, yeah, you know, you, the momentum. Feed, yeah, then, yeah. then take it, yeah, of so, course. So I was trying to spot some influence, because I know you, you notoriously don't like to be categorised, you don't like to be sort of, um, sort of prog or stoner or... It'll, it'll fit for five minutes and then it'll be wrong. Cause right. Because you know, um, today you did a spirit song, mm -hmm. H.P. Lovecraft, I think mm -hmm. I saw. That was beautiful. I love that turn. I never thought I'd hear anyone play that. Never mind, play it as well as you guys do. Mm -hmm. That's Thank really you. beautiful. Thank you. Um, and then uh, I did hear you say on your feet or on your knees of blue oyster mm, cult. Yes. <laughs> so, of course. And also, you did a he heavy metal uh, what, fruit, heavy, heavy metal, metal fruit, fruit yeah. of uh, ME262. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so and one then of my favourite bands. Oh, I slip them. little nugget, you know. Yeah. Hints and then the, there was a, uh, was a Genesis reference in one of them, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, from yeah, Supper, yeah, yeah, from yeah. Supper's Ready. Yeah, yeah. Um, Supersonic, Supersonic Scientist. Supersonic Scientist. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, the <laughs> Electric Banana was Pretty Things, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's really nice. So yeah, we, we like uh, record stores. Right. We spend a lot of time in record <laughs> stores and we spend a lot of money playing records. And, uh, yeah. Well, it shows that, yeah, some of those choices, you know, that you dig deep, you're not just after the, the, the standard stuff. No, no, no. It's uh, in the cracks where all the interesting stuff is, I think. Yeah. And we like to uh, learn new songs and new chords. And right. So when you sit at home and you think, oh, well, that's a great, great song. Should we do a cover of that? Just for, for your own sort of enjoyment. Yeah, we'll totally. Do. And yeah. then we try it out. And if it fits more or less naturally, then we might record it. Right. Or at least play it live. Yeah. But if it's a struggle, then we just leave it alone. Right. It's one of those, you know. So how much time do you guys sort of spend together outside of motorcycle stuff? 
Do you not a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, we do go to work uh, at 10 o'clock every morning. Oh, really? When we're all at home, we yeah. go to the rehearsal room we're at 10 o'clock, have a coffee. Motorcycle and, towers and, that you all sort of yeah, check yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, we work on stuff. You know, right. There's always some song that's half finished or something that we have to relearn or some yeah. project that we have to do. Right. And is so that sort of five days a week? You just yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Whenever, this, whenever somebody's not you know, away doing other stuff, yeah. or, you know, when we can. So it's a very uh, productive way of doing it. And it's also good for us to stay in the process. So just right. feel like you're a part of the music the whole time. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. And the current lineup of the band, you've got a relatively new drummer. Yeah, Tom. he started two, two and a half years ago. Yeah, he's, he, I'm, he wasn't drumming tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah I've seen him. <laughs> he was noodling I've on the Mellotron. Uh, yeah, noodling <laughs> on the Mellotron. And you've got the guy from Dungan playing. Yeah, you as well. he's an old mate of ours. Yeah, well, I know he's, he's, he's helps coming. Helps us out, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, uh, he's not a full member of the band? No, right? he's not. Uh, he lives in Stockholm, so it's ah, kind right, of one of those kind of useful. things. Because yeah. Yeah, you've had people sort of drop in and yeah, drop out. Yeah, we, we, we get kind of ambitious when we record, so we always record too many parts. So we need a fourth guy to kind of take care of some of the you know, yeah. essentials. Yeah. And uh, he's one of them. Last year we had another couple, couple of two different guys. Yeah. And that's just entertaining for us because everybody brings a different spin on it. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's going to change. Yeah. Yeah, because it keeps it fresh if you've got new people coming in who are sort of contributing. Yeah. yeah. Well, fantastic. Well, thank you so much. That was absolutely wonderful. Pleasure. I really yeah. enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in England again soon. Yeah. Uh, hopefully in September, October. Is it October? Something like that. October. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. Right. Well, so, uh, keep us posted. Yeah. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. Thank you.